What's up Airbnb host? This is Jasper at Get Paid for Your Pad. And in this video, I'm going to show you a tool that I use to manage my Airbnb listings. So the tool is called Air GMS. And if you don't want to watch the whole video, but you just want to try it out, um, go ahead. You can try it for free. And I'm using it for free, actually, because if you have less than five listings, they don't actually charge you anything. Now, I am only using Air GMS for two of my Airbnb listings. And so I don't have to pay anything. So if you don't want to watch the video, but you want to sign up, you can use my promo code GPFYP30 to get a $30 bonus in case you connect more than four listings. And so it's very easy. You just press the sign up button here and then there'll be a place for you to fill in your promo code and get your $30 off. But if you want to see what Air GMS is and how, how it works, then uh, continue watching because I am about to show you. All right, so let's dive in. Uh, this is basically the dashboard of Air GMS. And so I'm just going to go through all the different functionalities that Air GMS offers. So first of all, what you see here is my inbox. Now, these reservations that you see in these message threads, these are from different Airbnb listings. So I've got free right now. And so I see all the messages from all free listings right here. So if I, if I click on one, uh, I can see a lot of information, right? I can see here in the down below on the right in the mini calendar, I can see exactly uh, when this reservation is. I can see the entire message thread. Um, I can also see a lot of information about the guest. I can see the guest name and the email address, the phone number. I can see you know, the, the verifications that the guest has, and I've blurred these out for privacy reasons, obviously. Um, but um, but it's kind of like a, a, a nice way to just have all the information in one place. Now, what's really neat as well is that, in, you know, I can send messages to my Airbnb guests uh, through AirGMS, um, but also AirGMS has a lot of templates that I can use. So for example, let's say, I want to ask a previous guest for to leave a review. I can simply click the ask for review template and then a message asking for a review will pop up. Now there's all sorts of templates. There's first night stay, um, which is something that uh, I, I really encourage everybody to use a template like this, or at least send a message like this because, you know, after the first night, uh, the guest knows exactly how you know, what the, what the property is like, they had a night of sleep. And so you want to make sure that they're happy. And so sending a message like this is always great. Just asking them, how was your first night? Did you find everything? Okay. Now there's a, there's a template called potential guest. Um, that's like when, you know, when you get a message, uh, an inquiry, but, um, asking, you know, when a guest asks some questions, but then they kind of fall off the, uh, the wagon, you don't hear from them again. Um, you can send them a little follow-up message saying like, Hey, if you have any further questions, like, you know, feel free to ask. Um, let me know if you're still interested in the unit, etc. And so there's a whole bunch of these type of uh, uh, templates. Now, another uh, interesting functionality that AirGME offers is uh, you can actually schedule these messages to go out based on certain triggers, like when you receive a reservation or a couple days before the check-in or whatever. So simply uh, you press the little setting button and then you see the button here, enable automation. Here you can choose when to send the message. And so that's really, that's really convenient because then you don't have to worry about it. Um, so what I recommend, for example, if, uh, you know, after one day after check-in, um, I would send a, a message, you know, asking if every, everything is okay. Um, you know, before check-in on check-in day, after check-in, before check-out, these are all good times to, to send messages. Um, so you can enable this and or disable the automation. Um, you can also choose uh, if you want to send a certain message to all properties or just a, this a single property. And also you can use some template elements to easily, you know, make the message personal without having to actually, you know, change the message all the time. So, you know, you have guest first name, host first name, signature, listing name, listing address, check-in day, check-in time, all those type of things. So that's quite convenient. 
All right, let's go to the next tab. All right, so here we're looking at the multi calendar functionality. Here you can see the calendars of the free listings that I currently have on Airbnb. And so the first two listings are at a kitesurfing school in Egypt. And those are listings that I manage on Airbnb. Uh, but people can also book these rooms through the website at playkite.com. If you're into kite surfing, then you can check it out. Um, and so what's really convenient uh, about Airbnb RGMS is that I can block off the dates for the bookings that come through other channels. Um, so I'm hosting these two listings with my co-host, uh, Alex, who is the owner of the Kitesurf School. He's in Egypt. And so if he gets a booking on his website, he can simply go into the dashboard here. Uh, I've added him as a team member, uh, which I'll explain later how to do. But essentially, he can block off the dates that are not available. And so that's a, that's really great for me because AirGMS only works with Airbnb. And so and, and that's only that's the only thing I do. I only <clears throat> list on Airbnb. That's my job for in for this business i just take care about airbnb so the guests that are coming through his channels i don't have to deal with and so this works really well for me because i just have an overview here of the airbnb bookings and so you know for example room four i i there's a booking uh december 29th i can see that uh, these orange um uh, area this orange area here is is the bookings that uh, alexander has blocked off so these are bookings that came in directly through his website or through his personal network or through another channel and so this is really convenient for me to just have the listings in one place so i don't have to go into each separate listing and my third listing which is a penthouse in colombia in the beautiful city of cali um, I am not managing that. I have a very good property management company who is taking care of everything, but I still edit it because I like to see what's going on. And so um, I can see that there's a booking coming up December 26th. Um, there's a couple days free here, and then there's a current booking that is, uh, is until December 17th. So that's the gray area here. So essentially, um, I can easily see what's going on. I can also change the availability if I need to. Uh, I can change the prices. I can simply uh, click on <clears throat> these days, and then I can click on change price availability, um, and then I can make this not available, or I can change the price. And so I'm not going to do that because then I'm messing up uh, the uh, you know the management company. Um, but um, but yeah, it's just uh, it's just really nice that I can have that I have this overview in one place, so I don't need to go into these Airbnb listings and change the prices. Um, I can just do it from here. I can change the price, the availability, and also I, I have a very nice overview of what's what's going on when there's bookings, when the listings are unavailable because they've been booked elsewhere, and so it's it's just a very convenient place for me. There are some other features that uh, you can use that I personally. Uh, don't use, um, but they are available. Now, this is a feature here, reviews, where you can automate reviews. Now, for me, that's not really necessary because you know I'm, I only have free listings, and you know one of my listings, the one in Cali in Colombia, is actually managed by a property management company, so I don't have to do anything there. And so, you know, it doesn't take much time for me to just write the reviews in person. Um, I only recommend this if you're if you have like. I don't know, like maybe 20, 30 listings and you really don't have time to write the reviews. Um, I personally think it's better to write them in person. Um, but if you really, you know, you have a lack of time, you have the option to use the automated review function. The next functionality is tasks. So this is also something that I don't use because I don't have a need to. Um, but it is handy if, um, if you do manage your own cleaners uh, you can simply add cleaning tasks. You, you can add handyman tasks, and then you can also add your cleaners and your handymans and and everybody, anybody who uh, works for you. You can add them in the in the team and member section, and then they'll get notifications if you've added a new task. So my team consists of one very uh, cool 
Russian guy called Alexander, um, but I've learned his information. But um, you know, he's the guy who runs uh, the kite surfing uh, spot, the kite surfing school, uh, where and I manage basically his rooms on Airbnb. So you can easily add, invite new team members. It's very simple, and that way you can schedule tasks and you can essentially you can manage uh, your whole business. Now the next uh, tab is the check-in tab. Um, here you can easily see when check-ins and check-outs are coming up. Um, I've set it to three days here. And uh, as you can see, I, I don't have any check-outs or check-ins coming up. So that means I don't have to worry about anything. Um, again, this way I don't have to go into my Airbnb uh, account and look at the separate listings uh, to see if there's any check-ins or check-outs coming up. I can easily see here and I can also, you know, I can scroll through uh, through the days to to see when check-ins and check-outs are coming up. The next step, accounts and listings. So this is simply uh, an overview of the different listings that you have. So as you can see, I have three, um, but I only manage these these two, these kite surfing uh, Oasis rooms. Um, the penthouse in, uh, in Colombia is managed, uh, like I said, by a property management comp company. And that's why it says uh, excess problem, but I'm just uh, ignoring that because that uh, that's uh, because uh, this third listing is not connected. All right, then we go to the next one, properties. This is simply an overview of all the Airbnb listings that uh, I either are in my account or I am a co-host of. And so you can see here the status. You can see I have one inactive listing. Um, that's a, a listing I created for my penthouse in Colombia. Um, if I want to manage it myself, uh, I have the listing uh, ready, but I'm very happy with my property management company there. So I have no reason to, to really start managing it myself at this moment. Next up is the keys. That is only relevant for people that have a key cafe account. And if you don't know what key cafe is, well, key cafe is a, it's another tool that you can use uh, for check-ins, you can essentially you can leave your keys at a cafe, a cafe in your neighborhood, and then the guests can pick up the key there. Last functionality is reports. Um, this is something that's uh, that's pretty neat. You can uh, you can see your transaction history of all your listings. You can see your list of reservations, a summary, and work orders. Um, I I personally don't really use it because. You know, I, I just have like so few listings that um, it's 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 all pretty simple for me. Uh, but if you have like five, 10, 15 or more listings, then it's just really nice to have all the reports in one place. All right. So that's it. That's Air GMS. Uh, again, I'm pretty happy with it. It's very easy. It's free, which is really nice. Um, until you, if, if you connect more than five listings, then uh, five or more listings, then you have to pay for it. Um, but um, yeah, four listings or less, it's it's free to use. It's really convenient. And so if you want to sign up, you can do so. You can sign up for free. Uh, you can use my promo code GPFYP30 to get a $30 bonus in case in the future, maybe you connect more than four listings, or if you already have more than four listings, um, then you can get a $30 credit and uh, for full term piracy, uh, they also give me a couple dollars, which enables me to create videos like this and to create content for my blog and my podcast, etc. So thank you very much. If you want to use my code, you don't have to. It doesn't cost you anything extra. In fact, you get thirty dollars in credit. So there's no reason really not to. Um, but anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, uh, watch out on this YouTube channel. There's going to be more videos coming up. So I hope you enjoyed it and take care.